Yo, I'm Kahari Sappho, and this is Art on the Beat. This month, we match up artists, Matisse Pompai, with a down tempo crooner, Hop Hunter. They each will create something new based on each other's words. Let's do this! What's going on? This is R on the Beat. We're here with the mad scientist of the art world, Atis Pompai. A big part of your art practice is you create photos from cameras you make and modify yourself. I have like a past like like intermediate school like obsession with robotics before, so I kind of just fuse what I know about electronics with um, cameras and camera making. One of your photo series that you've been working on is called Earth at 970 miles per hour. And within that series, you're trying to capture the Earth's motion moving around the sun. Yeah, more yeah. well, like the Earth spinning in relation to the sun. So how would you modify a camera to be able to take those photos? I made a mounting system on the camera to mount the scope so that the scope and the camera, they're fixed together. Mm -hmm. So I can look at the sun and see where it moved and aim the camera at the sun. And then I would make an exposure. Every one or two minutes, I would tweak it ever so slightly and make another exposure. And this is all on the same film, so what you're getting is pretty much like a multi-multi exposure of the sun in the same position, but the landscape is changing. When you look at these photographs, it's a most them, like our existence is a blur, whereas the sun is constant, you know, so that just, that suggests that we are temporary. We are extremely temporary. For the Art on the Beat project, my dog over here, Atis, is making a brand new art piece influenced by the musicians, Hapa Hunting's music. So. What did you think of his music? It's dissonant and really, really vast, that back and forth feeling of smallness and vastness. How'd you approach making a piece based on what you found interesting about the music? His first song is called Chami Chami, which is a, a soju brand. So I just thought about, you know, being drunk. When you're drinking, it kind of, you kind of feel like you're in motion, but you're not. It's kind of the same feeling or the same concept as the whole idea of like the ocean where it's constantly moving but it's the same location, you know? Yeah. And with that in mind, I thought about, well, photograph the ocean. So I made a device to do that shiftness of the effects of drinking and I guess the, the idea of motion within non-motion. So what this thing does is I'm gonna mount the camera on top of here. When I turn it on, it spins ever so slightly. Well, you can adjust the speed. So as I'm making a long exposure, it's going to slightly turn. So you can kind of see that effect of the motion blur. But yet, the, the landscape will still be familiar within that motion blur. This is Art on the Beat. We're here with the Down Temple crooner himself, Hapa Hunting. You like sing and like this low crooning style? It's so interesting. Like, how did you develop that vocal style? I think I was self conscious when I first heard myself singing. So I kind of just kept on trying different ways to sing until I found something that kind of matched how I think I sound in my head. Yeah, also, I noticed in a lot of your songs, you like tweak your vocals a lot. Like, you'll like uh, pitch them up or like pitch them down. And for me, it feels like you're like trying to like emphasize different parts of the lyrics or something like that. Can you talk more about that? So now I'm actually trying to like put some of my personality more into it. So that's cool. Yeah, also like your lyrics are super funny and like they set up a nice scene. Like one of my favorite lyrics is from the song, was it Let the Boogies Out? Where you say... How 
how do you like develop and write your lyrics yeah i kind of try to just make it as descriptive as possible like i want to paint a scene i guess so you feel like you're actually there too like it's either really literal or really metaphorical so you so you can't really tell if i'm trying to be all fucking poetic or if i'm just being blunt so the sound of your music it has like a whole introspective atmosphere you know it's like it feels like i'm trapped in your headspace Yeah, is, is that, like, how you want your listeners to feel? I mean, yeah, kind of my, all my music is kind of just like a diary, I guess. And there's also, like, I also, like, write songs about movies and pretend like I'm the character, a certain character. Or if I ever run out of things to write about because my life isn't too exciting, then I just try to find other outlets. Ah, uh, no, you're hoppa hunting. I'm sure it's exciting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they'll be surprised. <laughs> All right, for the Art on the Beat project, Hoppa Hunting over here is going to croon us a brand new song influenced by Atisa's Pompai's artwork. So first, what was your first impression of Atisa's art? Kind of has like a abstract expressionist, surrealist, you know, like all of those kind of aspects to it. So how did you like approach making a song influenced by Atisa's artwork? So I kind of just wanted to focus or make it feel like the movement and like the blur and like the distortion that he kind of puts in his photos into the song too. Check the link in the description to download Papa Hunting's fresh new jam and Atisa's new art piece as a cover art. Now back to art on the beat. All right, another art on the beats in the bag. Woo! Yeah, the boys came through with some solid stuff. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, Atis, do you see any connections between your final art piece and the Hoppa Hunting's final song? There's this one part in the song where he has this low end low end speaking and then there's these high end high end singing and it kind of it ma- it's kind of like the same idea of me using a sort of framework or a under an underlying foundation of how it's going to go about to do the image and then the high end I guess it's just the image itself you know and in the spirit of polaroid polaroid photography you always give the, the image to the person so here you go thanks man yeah <laughs> 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 All right, hop on thing. Do you see any connections between your final song and the T's this final photo? But I feel like the photo matches like the bridge parts where you kind of get more movement in the song and it gets kind of weird. But it's nice looking at images and just thinking like, how can this be a song? And yeah, just imagining your own world from that image. You know, that super stereotypical phrase, an image is a thousand words or whatever. Yeah. Actually, I think the first on the feed they said that too. <laughs> <laughs> a what? Usually pictures are worth like a thousand words. <laughs> Recap. That's R in the Beat. We'll be here next time. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, check the link in the description to download Hoppa Hunting's new song with Atisa's new art as the cover art. All right. We're out of this place. <laughs>